Today we're reviewing the seven deadly sins of learning to play the guitar. I went to lifehacker.com and found seven things that they list as deadly sins. Number one is not playing on time, which absolutely is a sin. Your rhythm, your groove, and your being able to stick to the rhythm is one of the most essential skills you need to develop when playing the guitar. It's not the speed, it's not the amount of notes, it's not the notes themselves, it's your groove even when soloing. And to be able to play on time, you use a metronome, find any free metronome app there is, like this one, and play it. And that's it, and learn to play to the metronome, nothing fancy. Once you're comfortable with this, you can start learning to play with something that is similar to a drum beat. So either accent beats two and, th and four. So one, two, three, and four. Or remove the ones in the threes. So four, one, two, four. This way it sounds more like a drum kit. Do practice to a metronome and make sure to eventually switch to a pattern when your 1s and 3s are omitted and 2s and 4s are accented. It'll make you absolutely a better rhythm player, a better groove maker. And by the way, I'm Vadusha and I'm the greatest guitar player in the entire world and maybe... even on YouTube. Alright, let's see the next one. Being too hard on yourself. There's music is wind telling you not to be too hard on yourself. <laughs> this one's more psychological, it's not practice related or anything, but yeah, this is absolutely true. When you're too hard on yourself, it hurdles your playing. Needless to say, it's true in any field you attempt. If you're a mathematician, not being too hard on yourself makes you a better mathematician. If you're a filmmaker, not being too hard on yourself makes you a better filmmaker. And if you're a guitar player, not being too hard on yourself makes you a normal person. Next one, not listening to yourself. Absolutely crucial there. When you're playing, it does sort of feel like you're playing very well, like... Jesus Christ, I'm so great in guitar! And then you watch it over again... What? There's a difference between you playing and you seeing yourself play. When you see yourself play, it sort of is cringe, but you can analyze the mistake. You can see the hand movements, you can see your fingering, you can see your right hand positioning, you can see your picking. All of that will make you a better musician if you're not too hard on yourself. That's one thing. Another thing you can record is record yourself in a DAW. You can use Kakas Reaper or any other freeware recording software. Because when you see yourself play like this, you can see see things, but when you hear yourself recorded, you can hear things, and that's where all of these little noises come in, because when you play a tapping lick, you can do this, and all of these things come in, and the more distorted the guitar is, the more of the noise you're gonna get, and this will teach you to mute the strings you're not playing, it'll teach you to use a fret wrap right there, or whatever, and all of these techniques will help you eventually become a better musician. So yeah, record yourself, both video and audio. Number three, not playing with other people. This is one I would sort of disagree with. Unless your goal is to play with other people, this is not an absolute must for you. But to me, yes, the choice the joy of playing with somebody else cannot be replaced with anything else in the music world. This is the pinnacle of it. And if you're playing with somebody to a crowd, that is the most intense experience you can have in your life. But that's my point of view, not yours. If you're not ever gonna play with people, why bother learning to play with people? But yeah, jamming with others will help your progress, especially if the others are more skilled in guitar or in any other music instrument than you. If you're playing with a drummer, make sure the drummer is way more skilled than yourself. If you're playing with a bass player, make sure they are more skilled than yourself. If you're playing with a trumpet player for some reason, make sure they're skilled as well. So yeah, playing with musicians who are more skilled than you is a way to grow musically. Next one up, not tuning up. Tuning is important because if you take a guitar and it's like a little bit up here and there, and you start practicing your scales, you go... And it's like, okay, it does sound like something, but not ideal. It kind of sounds a little bit in tune, but there's... Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh. 
<laughs> get yourself a tuner. There's a lot of free tuners. I'm using this one. It shows you the strings and it shows you the tuning. If you play this one, it says it's an E string and it's perfectly in tune. Compare this to this. Sounds much better. Next one up, playing fast before you're ready. I'm not a fast player. I can do these pretty licks. So do practice to a metronome in a tempo that you're capable of. I can't go really much faster than this. And this is a little bit too fast for me already, so. Already a bit dirty. I might want to play it like like this to have more control to see my fingers not fly high enough you see my pinky goes up like this I should control that and for that I need to slow down not be fast make sure it's slow and the video here is Adam Neely's how slow is slow enough yeah do watch that that's not about practicing in tempo but it's fun next one up is playing stairway to heaven in a guitar store which is a myth no one's gonna punish you for playing anything in a guitar store this is nothing but a meme play whatever you need to select a guitar in a guitar store if you need to play a 035 play 035 all you need if you need to play the stairway play your stairway all you need anything works as long as it works for you you're the customer the customer is always right even if their plane smells like teen spirit so this is more of a joke there they do say it here in the article so who cares i think they kind of missed a couple of more things there i'd add a couple of items on the list one tip from me is never avoid learning full songs don't learn the licks learn full songs it'll make you a better player you'll understand song structure you will start thinking in harmony and all of those things you'll develop the stamina you need in your hands to play longer passages another thing is relying too much on gear and overall focusing on gear instead of focusing on your skill this absolutely is a sin in learning to play a guitar even the cheapest gear will get you there where you need as long as it's functional you can play anything. You don't have to buy another amp or another guitar to learn. You need a practice. Unless your goal is to be a collector and that's all you're doing. If playing is not the goal, you can focus on the gear. If playing is, then the scale is what you need to be mastering. And probably last one is ignoring ear training. There's so many tabs and interactive tabs and chords online, you know all these. But when you pick a song by ear, you start hearing hearing melodies versus harmonies you start hearing one note sounding differently depending on where in a scale it is you can start hearing intervals you know what this interval is what this interval is what this interval is and what all of these intervals are and the best way to practice that is to pick up songs by ear if you can afford investing some of your time and not just looking up tabs but actually listening to things and picking them up that's gonna be a huge huge benefit for you a very worthwhile investment of your time thank you for watching the video till the very end and not skipping in a bit of it it lets youtube know the video is interesting and youtube starts showing it to people and when you subscribe to the channel it's a signal for the algorithm to start pushing the video out and most importantly makes me happy if you like videos like these please consider subscribing and please please like the video if you have a heart i hope you managed to learn something from these seven deadly sins that help you progress in your guitar playing because you're awesome <laughs>